Hang on, I think I just thought of an idea for a video. I am going to go to Tier Ranker, or Tier Maker, Valorant Vandal skins. Why is FNAF popping up? Why the fuck is FNAF popping up when I look up Valorant Vandal skins? What the fuck? I'm gonna do knife skins instead. Yeah. Okay, so this one has really dope pictures. It's the knife skins. Although, is this really all the knife skins? All right, I was gonna do something totally different this stream, but I'm liking this. I'm liking this idea of quickly ranking all of the, uh, the knife skins. Yeah, content, baby, let's go. So we are here. We're gonna be ranking the Valorant skins, the Valorant knife skins. The first one that we have here is the default knife. I don't know what to say about it other than it's very basic and boring. If you play Valorant quite often and you still have this knife, I feel bad for you. I am already just going to put this knife in F tier. There's really no two ways around it. All right, and now we're gonna go through the ones that I have first and then go throughout the rest of them in alphabetical order. The Bound Knife. I actually kind of like it for a Battle Pass skin. For a Battle Pass skin, the Bound Knife isn't too shabby. It looks like a giant fucking club that you can beat people with. It glows blue, which is nice. I wish it had variants where it could glow other colors. But other than that, it's pretty nice. I kind of like the spikes on the end here. Uh, but there's also not much to say about it. So I'm going to put the, the Bound Knife in C tier. There's really not much to say about it. I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as possible. The k tac Blade. I don't know. It looks cool, not gonna lie. I really like it. it. I think this was like the second or third battle pass. I think this was the third battle pass skin. I really dig the color of silver that they went with here and how it's kind of like a lava lamp on the inside of it. That definitely separates it out from the rest of the battle pass skins. As someone who has been holding on to this skin for so long, up until I got this one, which we'll get to in a second, I've had this one since season, since episode one, yeah, episode one, act three, or whenever the fuck this came in, it's been my main skin up until like two months ago. So for almost three years, I've been holding on to this skin, and I can say that it's actually pretty nice. It's one of the better Battle Pass skins. I think that it, it's tied with the Bound skin. I will put it in C tier. And now we have the skin that I'm currently using, the Mage Punk Spark Switch. Oh, I love this skin so much. I honestly really do. I love the animation for it. It is just so good. I love the lightning effect on it. I think this is the best butterfly knife skin in the game. I love the butterfly, all the butterfly knives animations, but I think because of the lightning effect that Mage Punk has, I have to give this our first S tier. I'm sorry, it might be biased because it's the one that I'm currently using, but I fucking love it. Everything about it is great. The Ruin Dagger. Now this, this knife, is something that I don't understand because so many people love this knife and I think it's because it's like the second battle pass knife and it's like a person and it looks fucking sick I can't lie it looks sick I'm not gonna lie I think the reason why so many people like it so much is because it came out when the game came out like it was one of the very first it was I think this was the second battle pass knife so I think that's the main reason why so many people love it but it is a very prestigious knife because of that. Unlike the Prime skins, which you can fucking buy, this skin is actually prestigious because it tells everyone, hey, I was serious about this game from the moment it dropped. So because of that, I gotta give the Ruin Dagger S tier. And now we are to the skins that I don't have. We have the Dot Sis Melee. It's, it's dollar store k -Tac. I'm pretty sure this was another uh, Battle Pass skin. And what can I say about it other than it's just dollar store K-Tech. It's not that good. So we're not even going to waste much time with it. We're putting it in D for dollar store. Up next, the Altitude Knuckle Knife. I have never once in my life seen a soul carry this knife around. If you like this knife, I'm sorry, but it's... I do like how it has the brass knuckles. I like that. But other than that, like what, what the fuck is there to it? It looks like a basic knife with brass knucks. I, I'm sorry, I just don't see the appeal of this. I've never, like I said, I've never seen anyone use this knife in game. I don't know why you would. So if I'm being 100% honest with myself, I think it's D. I think it's above the cis knife though. Up next, we have the Araxis Bio Harvester, which is it, the name itself is badass. Oh, the Araxis bundle is so sick. I love it. Like, I love the Araxis bundle so much. I think that this is one of the most unique knives and most unique bundles out there. It's one of the best, but it's not the best. 
I've never, I'm not gonna lie, I've never really been a fan of the ones that you kind of like hold in your hand like this and you punch with. There's only one knife that I like that is that way and I'll get to it when I get to it. But because of the idle animation is different than the rest, or not idle, um, inspect animation is different than the rest, I gotta put it in A. The inspect animation is really cool. All in all, I don't, not a big fan of the knives that you punch with, except for one, which we will get to. If you've watched my streams in the past, you know exactly which one that is. Up next, we have the Artisan Fowl, which I believe was, I, it was a battle pass skin. I can't remember which battle pass. It might've been episode two, act one or act two. I can't, I can't remember exactly. It's a rapier. And that's, that's different. I kind of wish they would bring back the rapier look, but ultimately there's nothing special to it. It's just a battle pass knife. Um, I kind of wish they would have done something more. I do want them to bring back the rapier style because that is kind of sick. I know, I get it's a battle pass skin, so I'm gonna put it in C tier under the K tag. Up next, we got the Black Market Butterfly Knife, and this is the first butterfly knife. And I'm not a big fan of the Black Market bundle, not gonna lie, it looks like CSGO to me. Once again, it does have a dope animation. I do think that the butterfly knives have the best uh, inspect animation. There's nothing special about this butterfly knife other than the animation. So ultimately, I can't really give it the same, I can't really give it the same cool value as the Mage Punk. You know, it, I guess it's cool because it is a butterfly knife, but I'm gonna put it in B tier. Up next, the Blade of Chaos. Now this one, this skin is fucking dope. It came with the Prelude to, of Chaos, or the Prelude to Chaos, I can't remember what it's exactly called. But man, just look at that animation, it is so sick. And even when you stab it, it like has those gears that turn on the inside of it. It is very sick. I love that animation. It is so dope. I think it's the best sword knife in the game. And the Prelude to Chaos bundle is just amazing in its own. So I gotta give this S tier, but I am putting it underneath the butterfly knife. I will say that. Up next, we have the Blade of Sir Ket and I will, I will give it this though. I'm pretty sure this one, yeah, you have two this on this one instead of the regular punching knives where you only have one. So that gives it some points, I guess. I believe this was a battle pass? No. Was this a battle pass skin? I don't think it was. I'm not sure. Other than it having the two, I, I never really liked the Sirket skins. I never really liked these type of Egyptian skins. Other than it having two instead of one, there's really nothing special to it. I think I'm gonna put it in C. I'm gonna put it in C. I'm gonna put it above the K-Tac skin though, because that, I think this is the first time they tried to do the double, the double fisting. And speaking of double fisting, the very next one is Blades of Imperium. Once again, there's two, but I think the because of the effect and the animation on it, it is better than the Blade of Sir Kit. Sir Kit, I'm, I can tell you right now, I'm fucking that up. Because of the animation on it and because of the effect that it has on it, and honestly, just. It looks like this is the dragon, and that just looks sick to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the Imperium Blade ahead of the Araxis thing. Uh, yeah, the Blades of Imperium ahead of the Araxis knife. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna do that. I think that's what, what, what the play is. Yeah, yeah, I'm going for it. I'm locking it in. All right, all right. So I have to say, out of all of the bundles that have gotten a 2.0 bundle, I am in shock that Blastix has never gotten a 2.0 bundle. This skin line was possibly everyone's favorite skin line when it first dropped. However, the knife, this knife is just a default knife that's been dipped in Play-Doh. This knife has, is literally just a default skin that was dipped in Play-Doh. It is very funny though. It's a very funny skin, but all in all, I think that they could have done, I think that if they redid it and made a 2.0 bundle, it would look so much better. I would love for them to have like a little hammer that will like squeak every time you hit it. That'd be such a sick knife for a Blastix 2.0. But ultimately this one, it's silly and I fucking love it. It's very silly. If I'm being 100% honest, once the silliness wears off, it's kind of just there but I am gonna put it at C. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of C. Cause it is a funny knife. I, I hate to do this cause it is a funny knife. It's a goofy knife and I love it, but there's nothing to it. No, I can't. I have to at least put it at the top of C. If I'm gonna put it in C, I gotta put it at the top of C. I just wish that they would make a Blastix 2.0 bundle. That's all I'm saying. Make a Blastix 2.0 bundle and make the knife a hammer that squeaks every time you hit it. Okay, 
Now we are getting into the true bias here because I know that a lot of people don't really care about this knife, but the Broken Blade of the Ruined King, in my opinion, is a very slept on knife. So it, I feel like it's very mid tier for people, but to me, this is a very dope knife. I mean, look at that. The effect fills in the entire blade with like this cool like purple effect or whatever color you pick. It just looks so dope. It's like a smoky effect too. This might just be because I main Omen and it looks like something Omen would fucking rock. And also I, I play a Necromancer in D&D and I just love this, this bundle because of that. This one is very biased for me and I understand that and I am acknowledging that this is a very biased thing that I'm about, very biased pick that I'm about to have, but I'm gonna put Broken Blade of the Ruined King in top of A tier. I'm not putting it in S tier because I, I am somewhat realistic here. Up next the Sir, I can't even fucking say that. The Sarolicius? I don't know. I, it looks like it exists. I mean, I think this is supposed, to, oh wait. I think this is supposed to be like, kind of look like dicks, but I think it's supposed to be like shit that you see in the ocean. Eh, I don't know. I'm not impressed. I'm not very impressed. I'm putting it in D tier. I'll put it at the top of D tier. It's not that great. I'm next Katrina. Does that have like a special animation to it? This is another knife that I've never seen anyone rock in game. So it's like a regular karambit. I'm gonna put it also in D tier. I mean, I think it, well, it does change color. So I can't, I have to put it up here at least. The Celestial Fan. I'm a big fan of this knife. It looks really cool. Even when you swing it around, oh, okay. It's very unique, very dope, but they did they did a better job of it later on. I'm gonna put it top of B tier. Because much like the butterfly knife, it was really sick when it first came out, really unique. They did a better version of it later. Up next, the Champions 2021 Karambit. I believe this was the first Champions bundle. Yep. I do think the Champions Bundle is cool in the sense that you get the aura on your knife or your skin or whatever when you are top of the board. I think that's that's dope. But the Karambit is very basic. Karambit itself is very basic. Again, it's their first step and then they did it better later on down the line. But if I'm being honest, I was never really too impressed with the Champions Bundles. The uh, Vandal that they had in the latest one was dope. I'm gonna put this at the bottom of B. It seems like B is the tier where it's like, they released a dope skin. It was like a, a dope skin, but it wasn't a great skin. But then later on down the line, they they made it better. Champions Butterfly Knife is when they actually started. I It's not even loading for me. Well, ain't that a bitch. All right, well, the Champions Butterfly Knife, much like the first Butterfly Knife and the, uh, the Mage Punk one, this one is sick. The animation is sick. For some reason, the video wasn't loading, but the more kills you get with it, the more like rubies come out of the handle. I'm gonna put this at the bottom of A tier. And now the latest one, Champions 2023 Kunai. Give me the fucking anim- Oh, hello. I didn't know if you clicked it, it did that. That's cool. Again, you get the aura here. The more kills you get, the more of uh, Valorant VCT logos pop up. I do think the Kunai is the best Champions skin that they had so far. I think the Vandal that they had with it was better because the sound that the Vandal made was so clean. I'm gonna put this at the top of A tier. The composite knife looks horrible. The composite knife just looks fucking awful. This was the last battle pass. It just looks like absolute dog shit. I fucking hated it. I'm gonna put this at the bottom of D tier because it just looks bad. All right, so I'm gonna try to speed up a little bit because we have a long way to go. The Crimson Beast Hammer. I do think it's cool how it's on fire, but ultimately I was never really impressed with the Crimson Beast bundle. It literally just looked like Dollar Store Elder Flame. The hammer was cool. I think this was the first hammer that they had. I'm gonna put this at the top of C. I'm putting this at the top of C. We have another hammer, the Cryostasis Impact Drill. The thing is, I love the Cryostasis skins because of the little bit that they have. You know, if you pull it out and you don't really use it, you don't shoot the gun or you don't swing the hammer, it freezes up, like ice comes over it, and I fucking love that. And then once you swing it, or once you shoot the gun, the ice flings off of it. So I'm gonna put this at the top of B tier. Oh, next to Daydream's Crowbar. I don't care for this one either. Um, I do think that later on, they're gonna put another crowbar in the game that looks sick because it's the first crowbar that they put in the game. So I think later on, they're gonna put some crowbars in there that looks fucking dope. But until then, we just have the Daydream's Crowbar and it looks like Dollar Store Valorant Go. So I'm gonna put the crowbar at the bottom of C tier. 
The ego knife, I'm... I'm not gonna waste any time here, F. Even more of a fucking default knife than the Blastics. It looks horrible. The Elder Flame Dagger. Man, that, that looks... This one goes fucking hard. And it was from the first bundle, the first big bundle they've ever released, and it's still that fucking hard. I've always loved the Elder Flame collection. I'm gonna put this... I'm gonna put this mid-B. I think I'm putting this one mid-B. But I'm surprised that they haven't done Elder Flame 2.0, much like the, uh, the Blastics 2.0. Up next, the Equilibrium fan. I do think this was the second fan they implemented. I don't think it's as good as the Celestial fan. I think it looks like a, just a basic generic fan. So I'm not too impressed with it. But at the end of the day, it's a fan and it's dope. I'm going to put it... I'm putting it C tier. I think I'm going to put it behind the Blastics knife. Up next, we got the Forsaken Ritual Blade. Not too bad. I mean, the only thing special about it is that it glows. Not really too impressive. But it's not too bad. I think I'm going to put it in at the top of C tier. Then we have Gaia's Wrath. I think this is a slept on skin. I think this is a slept on bundle. I think too many people are sleeping on this bundle. I think not enough people are hyping this bundle up. I really do love it. Um, I was so happy in the, in the 2023 VCT tournament that happened. So many people were using the Gaia's Wrath um, Vandal. I think this is a really dope skin. I'm gonna put an A tier, probably at the bottom. Uh, this was a um, Battle Pass skin, I believe. Genesis Arc, it was all right. Definitely better than, the, better than the Crowbar though. I'm gonna put it right there. Glitch Pop Axe. The animation when you pull it out is dope. I loved like robotic effects, blade coming out. I think the Glitch Plop, the Plop, the Glitch Pop Axe is better than the Gaia's Wrath. I do think it's better than the Butterfly Knife. I'm gonna put it right there, right in front of the Champion's Butterfly Knife and the Gaia's Wrath on A. The knife, on the other hand, not as dope, not as sick, but it is still cooler than some of the other skins that we have on this list. So I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna put it bottom of B. Gravitational Uranium Nero Blaster Baton, the dildo knife. God, this, this bundle was a disappointment in my eyes. Reason why I think it's a disappointment is because there's no finisher. You mean to tell me you're not gonna fucking put a finisher of like a UFO spawning and then taking the body? Like, are you kidding me? How are you gonna do that? This would be one of the sickest bundles in the game if it just had a, a cool finisher like that. And I don't understand why they didn't do that. I don't know if I like the baton or not. It looks so weird. Like I said, it looks like a like a dildo. Because I can't tell if I like it or not, I gotta put it in mid C. We all know how I feel about dollar store stuff here. It, this is just dollar store glitch pop. But I do think it looks cooler than, I do think it looks cooler than the crowbar. It looks cooler than uh, the Genesis arc and it looks cooler than the um, rapier. I have mine sword. <sighs> Once again, I think this was a battle pass skin. It's mid. I again, it's got to go C tier. I'm going to put it under the Blastics. It looks like it wants to be the Reaver so bad. Up next, we have another skin that I've never seen anyone use in game. Although this one does look pretty cool. Uh, I do like how these kind of look like scratches right here. I'm going to put it in C tier right under the Forsaken one. Okay, the Ignite fan. This is where the fans really shined. Because look at this. This is dope. This is by far the best fan skin in the game. Oh, I don't even have to say much about it. It looks so good. I'm putting an S tier. I'm putting it above the Ruin Dagger. It looks, it's so good. All right, the Ion Energy Sword. Mm, it's another one that punches. I wasn't very impressed with the Ion Energy Sword. I'm not gonna lie. I think that the Ion Energy Sword, do I put it bottom B or top C? I don't know. I'm gonna put it top C. I'm just not, I wasn't that impressed with it. I'm sorry. I, well, the Ion 1.0 collection is kind of mid. I'm sorry, the 2.0, Ion 2.0 is dope. I can't lie about that. The Ion 2.0 is fucking dope. Ion 1.0 is kind of mid. The Ion Karambit on the other hand definitely goes up high because this Karambit, oh yeah, that Karambit is sick. It's making me feel funny. It goes in, it goes in A tier for sure. Does it go above the Araxis? Yeah, I think it does. I think it, it goes above the Araxis. Does it go above the Imperium? Should it be top A? You know what, I'm doing it. I'm putting I'm putting the Ion 2.0 Karambit in top A. The, okay, no. The Iridian Thornblade, no. Not a fan. I'm gonna tell you right now, not a fan. I'm gonna put it in, uh, I'm putting it under the crowbar. That's how much of a fan I'm not of it. Kingdom Knife, this was the very first Battle Pass skin. Nothing else to say about it. Basic as hell. 
Luna's Descent, not too impressive, but you know, I've seen worse. I think Luna's Descent really just belongs in C, probably right, I'll put it under the Katrina one. The Lux Knife, this is the first kunai in the game. It was a very basic kunai. I can literally only give this one bottom B, not even bottom B, I'm putting it in C. I'm putting this one in C. It was a very basic kunai. Mage Punk Electroblade. I'm a big Mage Punk fan. Electroblade, not so much. It's literally just like the Blastic skin. It looks cool, but at the end of the day, it's kind of just a uh, default skin that moves. But I will put it above the Blastic skin, right above it, because it has that lightning effect. Mage Punk Shock Gauntlet. It's another punch one. I do think this one's better than the Ion, but like I said, I'm, there's only one fist knife that I enjoy, and it's not this one. But I will put it above the Ion. Nebula Knife, i putting it bottom D. Because it is different, it is unique, but at the end of the day, it's just default skin. Actually, no, I'm putting all the default skins in F. Fuck them. The Neo Frontier Axe. Like, honestly, this is one that has really grown on me, just because, like, when it first came out, I thought it was good. I thought it was good, I didn't think it was great, but the more I've seen it in game and the more I've like seen it here in the collection, the more I fucking love it. I'm thinking A. I'm gonna put this in A right under the Ion. Actually, I'm putting putting it over the Ion Karambit. I'm gonna be a madman and I'm putting the Neo Frontier Axe above the Ion Karambit. The Neptune Anchor, I, I talked about this earlier. I was never a big fan of the Neptune skins. I think the guns look neat. The Neptune Anchor is kind of funny, but I was never a fan of it. I was never too big a fan of it, I should say. I think I'm putting the Anchor, I think I'm gonna put the Anchor mid B. Up next is the Bat. I, I think it's cool that it changes colors, but other than that, it's it's mid. It definitely goes in C. I'm actually gonna put it over the Ion Fist, but not, but under the Mage Punk Fist. I'm gonna try to start like going through these now, cause we still have a lot to go. And I've, already, I've been doing this for 38 minutes. So I'm gonna try to speed this up. Sidiana was a battle pass skin. I was never a fan of it. I'm gonna put it in C tier above. Or actually, you know what? I'm putting these both in D tier. I'm putting both those in D tier, Fuck it. You know what, I'll even put the Genesis art in there now that I'm thinking about it. I feel like that was the move. The Oni Claw. Oni Claw was sick. The Oni Claw is definitely one that was sick. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is the inspect. The effects are dope. I love the effects that it has, but it just, the inspect animation is just basic. And I, I do think, wasn't this the first one that had the the fist knife? Wasn't this the first collection that had the fist knife? I'm pretty sure it was. But I do think that this is a very dope fist knife. Uh, so I will put this one up at B. I think it's better than the glitch pop knife, but not as good as the, the champion's karambit. Up next is the katana. Oh my God, this thing is dope. Look at this. Oh. The eyes that look back at you. Everything about this katana is so fucking sick. They went all out with this bad boy. Everything, ugh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm taking this katana and I'm putting it up in S tier. Do I put it above my butterfly knife though? Do I put it above my butterfly knife though? Do I put it above my butterfly knife? Do I put it above my butterfly knife? I don't know. I think I do. I think it goes above Butterfly Knife. I think it goes above Butterfly Knife. I think that's the play. I love the Mage Punk Butterfly Knife, but I think the Katana beats it. I think the Katana wins. All right, the Origin Crescent Blade. I'm a big Origin fan. I love the Inspect. I love the Inspect animation. Yep, I love that shit. That is a dope. That's one of the best Inspect animations in the game. So just based on that, just based on the Inspect animation alone, it carries it. It looks like a protractor otherwise. I'm gonna put it at the bottom of A tier. My, my guts tell me to put it higher. If it wasn't for that Inspect animation, it would probably be C tier. Outpost Melee, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, this one was, boom, top of F. Actually, I'm putting this one in F tier as well. I'm putting this one in F tier as well. The Personal Administrative Melee Unit. I'm kind of a big fan of this collection. I do kind of like how it talks to you. I do kind of like how it like folds out and folds in. I do love that. I I love this collection. I, I think that it belongs, it, it goes above origin, but below Gaia. I feel like that's a perfect place to put it. Okay. Okay. 
You know how I said earlier about the ruin, uh, the ruined blade, the broken blade of the ruined king or whatever it's called? Where I said that the, the bias was coming out? Uh-uh. This is where the bias comes out. I, I've been saying it for this entire video. There is one punch knife that I really love, and it's this one right here. I fucking love the power fist. I mean, look at this shit right here. How can you not love it? The inspect animation is amazing. Three different games, Dance Fever, Bazooka Badger, and the KO one, the Knockout one, which I don't remember the name of. I think it's just called Knockout. I think this is my favorite collection. That might be because I'm really into like retro stuff, but this is definitely like controversial, probably. People might disagree with me. People will disagree with me. I think this is the best knife in the game. People are gonna disagree with me? I'm thinking this is the best knife in the game. Say what you want in the comments, roast me all you want. This is this is just my opinion, this is just my list. I love the Power Fist. It is my favorite knife. I have been waiting for it to come back in my store so I can get it. I was like le legitimately going to get it when it was like in the bundle, but by the time I finally got paid, they took it out and I was like so angry about that. I think the Power Fist is the best knife in the game. Don't expect any of these final remaining skins to beat it. Up next, the Prime Axe. I, I'm not a big fan of the Prime skin, Prime's collection. I don't care for Prime, Prime 2.0 or Prime 3.0. I think they're overrated as fuck. I've never cared for them. I think the reload animations of the gun is cool, but everything else is kind of eh. I'm just gonna go through the Primes real quick. This Axe is basic. I'm gonna put it below the Bound Knife. Uh, I will do the Karambit last. I think this knife, literally the same one, just without the holes. So there, I think it actually looks worse than that one. And then the Karambit. I know a lot of people love it. I know a lot of people love how it looks like a banana and stuff like that. I, I think it was too basic, too boring. We have better karambits out there. I do think it's the best prime knife out of the bunch, but still very mid. And I'm gonna put it probably at bottom B. There you go, I'll put it bottom B. I don't care for the prime collection, I'm sorry. All right, prism knife. We've already been over this. The default knife's going F. This will go above kingdom, below ego. Prosperity. I think this one is cool because it was the first one where you had two, two swords, two blades, instead of just one. It, the, cha the change of color is cool. Uh, other than that, there's really not much to it. I think Prosperity goes at the top of C. The baseball bat, okay, okay, okay. I love the baseball bat because I think this is what the um, Blastics knife should have been, was the baseball bat, was like a baseball bat. Because they went for like the Nerf look for Blastics and Nerf has baseball bats. But I'm gonna put this bottom, put it above Origin. Because I love the effects that it has. I love the, I love it when it says all the words, like swoosh. The Reaver Crambit. Although I said earlier, I think the Reaver skins are also overrated. I think the Crambit looks sick. I think the Crambit is the one exception to, to that because it looks fucking sick. I think the Crambit also goes in A tier. And I think it goes all the way up here. Actually, I think it goes top A tier. Now, now I'm looking at it. I think it belongs in, at the very top of A tier. But then the regular Reaver knife is kind of mid. The Reaver 1.0 knife is kind of mid. So I think it goes definitely above Prime because f Prime. But I think it goes below uh, Glitch Pop. And now the Recon Balasong. It is, once again, it is a um, butterfly knife. So gotta give it points for that. But it, once again, is just the very basic butterfly knife. I'm not a fan of the Recon skins either. They look very Call of Duty to me. And I don't want, want to play Call of Duty, so I think it will go, it'll go, it'll go B tier, but it'll go above the, the regular black market butterfly knife. Okay, Relic of the Sentinel, this is another one that I really love, because look at this animation when you pull it out, it looks so sick. Relic of the Sentinel has always been, like the, the Sentinel, Sentinel bundle has always been a skin that I've really loved and would love to rock. Um, I'm going to put, the Relic of the Sentinel will definitely go A tier. I think I'm gonna put it right below Neo Frontier. Reverie Sword, again, very basic. Another ba very basic skin. I'll put it in bottom C. Actually, I'll put it above this one. All right, the, I, the RGX 11Z Pro Blade. This one is actually really fucking dope. It definitely goes in A tier, but where does it go in A tier? Am I crazy enough to put this in S tier? Yo, am I crazy enough to put this this knife in S tier. No, no. I think I think the Relic of the Sentinel is better than this knife. And if I'm putting Relic of the Sentinel in A tier, then this knife needs to be in A tier. 
All right, the RGX 11Z Pro Firefly. It's another butterfly knife, but it's RGB. So I think it goes in A tier. I think it goes above the Champion's Butterfly Knife. I think it goes above Araxis. It goes above Imperium. I'm being honest, I think it goes below the Ruin Dagger. Singularity, okay. We've already, we've been through this. We've been through this. The default knife's going F. It goes right there. And then Smite right after that. Right into F tier. Boom. Easy. Making it easy for us. All right, Snowfall Wand. I don't think it's neat. I don't think it's cool, but kinda eh. It goes in C tier. I think it goes right below the dildo. I think, isn't this the Sovereign Knife? Thong Steel. Again, I think it just, eh. We, then we have, I don't remember what, what they actually called it, but it's the Scythe. Soul Strife Scythe. Soul Strife Scythe, try saying that five times fast. I'm gonna put above the Prime Axes. I think I'm even gonna put it above the bound. And it goes right there. All right, this is a Sovereign Sword. And again, it we're getting all the mid ones out of the way here. I think it, this one is the best of the three regular swords, but it's not the best knife. All right, the Spline Dagger F. I'm gonna put it right there. And then I don't even remember the name of this, but it goes in F as well. Uh, Task Force 809 knife. I don't remember this knife. Yo, I don't remember this knife. And if I don't remember it, then it must not be that good. So I'm gonna put it in D. Okay, the Terminus AQO. One that is literally just a ball in your hand and it pops into that. I do think that's pretty cool. I think the, the effects are dope. Uh, I do like when like you pull the ball out, the guy kind of like messes with it. Your character messes with the ball. Yeah, I'm gonna put it B. I think B is a perfect place for it. Up next, we got the Tilda knife. I don't remember this knife either. This looks like it'd be a battle pass knife. Battle pass knives aren't really that great. It goes, Mid D. Titan Mail Mace. Man, talk about another disappointment. I was not a fan of this collection. I do like the mace though. The mace is pretty cool. Kind of like the animation on it. But ultimately, eh. I think it's gonna go up here right above the dildo. Up next, we have the current Battle Pass knife. And I am not a fan. Uh, I think I said this before in another video. I don't really care for the skins in this Battle Pass. I'm gonna put this in probably bottom C. I think it's cool how it kind of looks like a lava lamp. Other than that, I'm never gonna use it. Up next, the Valorant Go Volume 1 Kunai. Honestly, I, I liked this Kunai. It was pretty cool. Um, I didn't really care that it had Jet on it, but you know, Jet uses Kunai, so it makes sense. I'm going to take the Kunai, and I'm gonna put it at the, above the Prime Karambit, but still in B. I don't know if it had an animation. Did, did it have an animation when you were inspecting it? I know it had that spin, which I liked, but other than the spin, Actually, you know what? Now that I see the spin, I gotta put it up a little higher. I think it goes right here. Below the original butterfly knife, but above the champion's crambit. Gotta go with that. The VCT lock-in. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Okay, that's pretty dope. Okay, yeah, that's pretty dope. That, that'll go in A. This definitely goes in A, probably right here. Right below Relic of the Sentinel but above the RGB, RGX, rather than what it's called. This was a Battle Pass skin. Don't remember which one. I know this was a Battle Pass skin and it was nothing special. So I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to put it in D, probably right about here. I mean, the colors do kind of cool, are kind of cool and the texture of it does look neat, but ultimately it's not that impressive. There's really not much to it. Oh, I hate this knife. I hate this knife. This knife looks like shit. I'm sorry. I, I, I hate this knife so much. I'm, it goes in D. Now I'll put it at the bottom of D. It looks bad. It looks so bad. All right, the waveform, the Z knife, the music knife. Where do I want to put the music knife? Because the music knife was one of the first knives that I actually really wanted to get, but it was expensive as shit. Now that time has passed, I do see that it's not really that great, but it is still pretty cool. I think I'm going to put it Bottom of B. I think, I think I want to put it bottom B. Yeah. A little bottom B there. The candy cane. I think it's cool that it can break and turn into a shiv. Other than that, there's really nothing to it. It definitely goes C. Probably above the prime and above the karambit as well. Yeah, I'll put it there. Actually, you know, I'll put it right below the blastics. Because again, the fact that it's the only one that really like you can transform it by breaking it off and turning it into a shiv. I really like that little detail. So I think it should Go high C. Up next we have the Zeo Hunter knife. This knife also has a cool animation like that, like a CSGO animation. I think that's dope. 
I'm going to put this in A tier below the lock-in one because I think the lock-in one looks better. All right, the last one. Yoru Stylish Butterfly Comb. I love this knife because it is so fucking goofy. I wish you'd play it as Yoru and like you were uh, inspecting it, he'd do the whole flips, but then at the very end, he would comb his hair. I think that would be fucking dope. I think it's very silly, but I love it. I love me some silly skins. I gotta put the butterfly knife up probably right here. All right, so this is my tier list. I have six in S tier, the Ruin Dagger, the Ignite Fan, Blade of Chaos, the Mage Punk Butterfly Knife, the Katana, and of course the Power Fist. This is mine. Let me know what your guys' favorite knife is in the comments. We can compare. Like I said, I think my I think the Power Fist is the best one, but I feel like a lot of people are gonna disagree with me. But yeah, anyway, that'll do it.